you guys, it's your girl Janelle Nicole here and welcome back to my channel. So today, your girl is gonna be doing a mini hygiene, come hygiene shopping with me video. I've been wanting to film this video for the longest time, but for some reason, like, let me know if you guys are the same way. I always end up buying like the hygiene products that I need in increments. I never do like a full on giant hygiene, come hygiene shopping with me. Like, just whenever something runs out, I just go to the store and I pick it up. And every time I do that, I always forget about these types of videos. And I hate that I do that because it's like, I be wanting to film these come hygiene shopping with me videos. And then by the time I actually want to film it, I'm like, well, girl, you already done picked up everything you needed. So I do already have some stuff. I picked up a new lotion. I'll show you guys that towards the end of the video because you guys know I've been obsessed with the EOS lotion. I picked up a few other things that I'm gonna show you guys towards the end of the video. Today's a nice day. Like yesterday, I literally wore a dress and it was cold and today is actually kinda nice out and I'm wearing a jacket and leggings and everything. But it's okay, we're gonna go to a lot of places today. First spot is Target because I always like browsing in there. The second spot is gonna be Ross and then we're gonna go to Marshall's. And then I'm going to end it off with Walmart because I have a Walmart next to me. I am currently about to go have some lunch. Okay, I'm going to get me some salmon because I haven't eaten. And if you haven't seen my last video where I announced my pregnancy, your girl has got to eat. Okay, I am starving and if I don't eat, I'm going to get nauseous and it's going to be a thing. But anyways, once I'm done eating and getting myself together, I will see you guys at Target. I'm so excited to shop. Like, I love shopping. I'll see you at Target. Okay, I have successfully made it to Target. So the first thing that I really need is shampoo and conditioner. I've been putting off buying shampoo and conditioner for a minute now and I can't put it off any longer. I've never tried the native shampoo and conditioner. This one's a cucumber and mint shampoo and conditioner. Let's see. Actually smells kind of good, but I'm a little skeptical to try like their shampoo. You know, cause I don't really know if it's for me, but yeah. It says it's made with 10 helpful ingredients that bring on the bounce. Life's complicated enough. Your hair care doesn't need to be. That's funny. I will say, I do like how they list the ingredients and everything I can actually read. So this kind of makes me want to try it, but I've never like read reviews on Native's shampoo and conditioner. Like I don't even know how it is. So, um, But this one is supposed to volumize your hair. I don't really need volumizing with my hair. So that's, I would be kind of scared to use that. But I do like how you can read the ingredients. So that I do love. Hmm. Okay, Native. Let me smell the rest of their scent. So this one's coconut and vanilla. Hmm, that smells good. Kind of smells like cookies. And this one is almond and shea butter. So let's see. Mm, I really like that one. That one smells really good, surprisingly. And this one is a strengthening shampoo. Oh, they all are different. This one's a moisturizing shampoo. They have one for the curly girls. This one's coconut milk and turmeric. Mm, that one doesn't smell bad either. Candy shop. This one smells smell like gummy bears. This smells like expired fruit or something, or like, you know when you eat candy and like your breath smells like candy like this, but not in a good way. I don't think they should do that one tomorrow. I'm not, I'm not gonna pick up one, but if I had to, I'd probably get the strengthening shampoo because that one looks like it's really good and it smells good. I heard some good things about raw sugar. So the Pure Scalp Therapy hair mask. There's a different one that I heard a lot about. It was like some type of scalp therapy. I don't see it though. So is it this? I don't think it's this either. It was like a scalp scrub or something like scalp therapy. But I heard a lot about the raw sugar line. So let me know if you guys have tried them as well. I've never tried these out. I really want to try out a new shampoo and conditioner, but I'm gonna leave these ones. So let's let's move on. <laughs> okay, so here's some Shea Moisture Shea Moisture products. Um, 
I heard a lot of good stuff about this conditioner as well. I don't really use like a lot of Shea Moisture shampoo and conditioners. This one's the Mitchell, Mayel. I don't know. You smell it though. Mm, interesting smell. I have the oil, the hair, hair growth oil. I really like the oil by then. But I don't know. For some reason, I'm not a huge Shea Moisture um like the products that are meant for us i don't really use that to wash my hair and condition it so we're gonna move on girl we're gonna move on oh i haven't used this in years it's a 10 freaking love it's a 10 they'd be kind of expensive though so Let's see what the next shampoo and conditioner aisle has to offer. I'm not gonna lie, this is more of my aisle. Like, I use Dove, I use Herbal Essence, I use all of that, all of that, all of that. So let's see. I used to use Pantene, but I've been hearing some things about Pantene lately, so. Yeah, here's the Pantene section. So we're not gonna do them. Let's move on. <laughs> Um, and I also don't use this line anymore. I used to use this, like when I first started my hair journey, but for some reason I don't use the organics shampoo and conditioners, but I really want to smell this. I feel like I used to use this, I don't remember. This one and I used to use the biotin one, but I don't use these anymore and I don't know why I stopped. Should I, should we run this back? So I used to use this, but... I don't know why I stopped. Mm, smell might be why I stopped. Um, mm, I like the smell of the conditioner. Let me smell the biotin collagen. I used to use the heck out of this. I don't know. For some reason, the organics line just doesn't do it for me anymore. Let me know if you guys still use this brand, and if so, let me know which one i do however still use their oils their oils are amazing okay so we're in the herbal essence section i usually only use herbal essence when i'm wearing my hair in its naturally curly state like i use the hello hydration i really like this for my curly hair because i find like if i'm going to straighten my hair it's not as moisturizing like it's more of like a slip especially this one i really like dove and i really wanted to try like a new shampoo and conditioner like this one i wanted like a clear looking shampoo like this um usually dove has like the creamy base i wanted a shampoo like this because i never really use shampoos that are clear like this so i don't know if i should get my shampoo and conditioner from here but i usually use this or the last one that i've been using is this one and it's a really good deal because it's only 7 79 it's probably cheaper at walmart but you get two the shampoo and conditioner for a good price so i usually buy buy it in a pack like this and I usually switch between this one and this one. But I really want to switch it up this time and get a clear shampoo. So, I don't know. Decisions, decisions. So, I decided to cave and get this. My regular schmegular. So, we're taking her home with us. Alright, next up we have these Tree Hut shower gels. I've actually been really wanting to try these. But I'm not sure how they are i already have two shower gels at home which is why i'm not gonna pick this up but next time i need a shower gel i think i'm gonna reach for this so you guys let me know if you've ever tried it they have so many different scents i've heard a lot of good stuff about this scent in particular so i'm really curious to know how you guys feel about these and if you like them and if you use them comment down below oh this one's really catching my eye i love the vitamin c line i like the scrubs um and they also have a shower gel, so it's really tempting to get this. I already have enough shower gels at home. So, I might add this to my cart for right now, so I can think about it. Because <laughs> I might get it, but let me know what you think. 
And of course, you know we couldn't come to Target without looking at the shower gels. This one is my favorite, I mean, the body scrubs, Treehub body scrubs. This one's my favorite one. I love the vitamin C one. I honestly need to stop buying it because it's kind of ridiculous. But this one, I don't know if this is the vanilla bean or just regular vanilla. I tried the vanilla bean one, but I've never seen this one before. So I don't know if it's just different packaging or if it's new, but let's smell it. It smells so good. I can't tell if it's the vanilla bean one or if it's just plain vanilla, but it smells really good. Um, peach sherbet. I'm not a huge fan of peach. Mmm, this smells like summertime. I really like this one. It smells very good, actually. They have another one called Papaya. Papaya Paradise. It's okay. I definitely like the peach sorbet. I think that's how you say I like this one better than this one, but I've never seen this one before. The vanilla is almost gone, and I can kind of see why. It smells so good, and I'm kind of tempted to get it. <laughs> All right, so I wanted to show you guys these masks. I seen this morning goggle eye mask i thought that was so cute let me know if you guys have ever tried either one of these masks i'm not a huge fan of lip masks because they never stay on but let me know if you tried that one also they had this really cute foot mask i thought it looked so cute i've never tried one either i probably should have picked this one up honestly because that would have been fun to try and they have like this sleeping mask that one was almost gone but I really want to show you guys the mini native deodorant because girl i've never tried the native deodorant and i was like you know what I'm gonna go ahead and spend $2.99 to try the native deodorant and I hope it's good. So you know we cannot go to Target without looking at the face mask and I was definitely browsing in a section. I'm not gonna lie, I almost bought this Loops, I think it's called, face mask. They had so many. I believe this one was like for glowy skin. It was really good, like it had like a lot of ingredients in there that I liked. The second one, I believe this was like the weekly reset. This one really caught my attention because I feel like this would be really cute to use like on a Sunday reset kind of day. I love doing Sunday resets. Maybe I'll film a video like that. But also they have this clean slate one. So maybe you can use this one after a night of partying, you know, detox your skin, your face. They have so many different options. I won't lie that face mask was kind of like doing the most though because I think it was like $5.99 for one face mask. But I mean... No, let me know if you guys have tried those Loops face masks. They looked interesting. The mouthwashes. Um, I had to take my jacket off because it's freaking hot. Um, I think I'm going to get this. This is $6.49, but it comes with a free little mini thing. And I actually like both of these mouthwashes. So I get like the best of both worlds. So I'm going to get this because I feel like this is a good deal. So I'm going to get this giant mouthwash. And it comes with the free one. So she's coming home with me. Okay, so I am back with the Target goodies. I really didn't get that much stuff, you guys. This is literally going to be a very small Come Hygiene Shop With Me video. I'm just re-upping on stuff that I don't already have. Um, there is one item that I did end up getting that I haven't tried before, so I'll show you guys that towards the end of the video. Now we're going to head to... I was going to say Target. We just left Target. Now we're going to head to Ross because I need some loafers. Loafers? Loafer. The little scrub thing. <laughs> I have one and honey, she is on her last leg. Like honestly, I'm pretty embarrassed by how she looks. So yeah, I usually like to get my loafers from Burlington, but I don't know if I feel like driving that far because they usually have some in a pack. And I don't know, I like getting mines from there. But we're gonna go to Ross and see if they have any loafers. If, the, if I don't have any look there, then I'm gonna go to Marshall's because I feel like Marshall's usually has everything that I need. So yeah. All right, we have made it to Ross. So the first thing that I seen, I thought this was cute, is the Chi and Barbie like crimping iron. But right next to it, I seen like this little acrylic drawer thing with beauty blenders in it, Q-tips. I think those are clear rubber bands and some cotton uh, rounds. I thought that was super cute. That's cute to like having your bathroom. Then I seen these eye patches. I'm like a sucker for eye patches. So even if I don't like buy it, I always put it in my cart. That's my thing when I go shopping. If I want something, I'll put it in my cart and then I'll walk around and see how I feel. 
and see if I even want it. So the next thing that I seen that I thought was cute is this like hair massaging, scalp massaging brush and it actually comes with the hair oil. Um, I thought this would be cute for like a gift or something and yeah it looks super girly. I like the color. I also saw this Shea Moisture a Brighter Days Ahead gel cleanser and this was $7.99. I thought this was a good find especially if you use that. Also, this oil had me in a chokehold. I could not debate. Like, I was debating if I should get this oil or not. But later in the video, I did pick up um, an oil. So, I did not get this one. But I did put it in my cart because, girl, I was really debating about it. I love the ingredients. Next is the accessories. Y'all know I was looking for a loafah. And, girl, there was so many options. Like, I did not know which one to choose. And the one that I ended up choosing, I'll show you guys at the end of the video. I kind of wish I would have chose a different one because the one I ended up choosing, I tried it out today. And I don't really know how I feel about it. So I think I might go to Burlington and get like the ones I usually get. Because the one at Burlington, they have like scented ones and stuff. So yeah, looking back at this clip, I'm like, dang, I probably should have got one of the other ones. But y'all will see which one I got towards the end of the video. They also had this really cute one that was like in the shape of like a flower so yeah they have a lot of like options for loafers and yeah so that's what I picked up also I'd be sleeping on Ross's oral care like I need to get toothbrushes and stuff from here they even had an electric toothbrush I was shocked to see that girl so yeah I'm gonna have to stop sleeping on Ross when it comes to their oral, oral hygiene so and then I also added this random really pretty vase it was prettier in person but yeah and the last stop is Marshalls, of course. When I first walked into my Marshalls, y'all, they rearranged everything. So they even put the skincare on the opposite side. So at first, I was confused as heck, and it took me a minute to find everything. But y'all already know, I had to check out the face mask. And the first thing that caught my eye was this Crim Shop and um, Hello Kitty face mask. I'm not a huge Hello Kitty fan, but honestly, I almost bought this just based off the packaging alone. I've never tried Crim Shop's products before so let me know how they work i think i'm gonna go back to marshall's i already said i'm gonna go back to marshall's and buy some of the stuff that i did not buy in today's video and i think the hello kitty face mask is gonna be one of them there's also a perfume that i'm probably gonna end up getting um that i didn't get but you guys will see that so let me know if y'all want me to do like a marshall's come shop with me because girl um, I also need to stop sleeping on Marshall's oral hygiene care. This was a ton scraper. I just ordered a ton scraper online, which is why I didn't get it. They also had a lot of like whitening products. So I really liked that. I was like, girl, I've been kind of sleeping on that section in Marshall's, but yes yeah, so next i finally found like the skincare section i'm not gonna lie this section is always so overwhelming i wish that they would like pick a day to organize this section better because this is very overwhelming and it just looks a mess and i really don't like it but i was on a hunt for a new face oil because the one i have at home is running out so i seen this one the manuka honey face oil i really wanted this one but the packaging was super sticky and i could tell people were kind of like dibbling and dabbling into it so i didn't get that one and the last face oil that I got was from Marshall's but you know like I really like that one but as you guys know like there's no guarantee that you will see it next time you go so I was okay with getting a new face oil next this is the perfume I was talking about y'all look at this freaking bottle like this bottle is so pretty if you see this spray it and let me know what you think now when I sprayed it initially it smells like the Marc Jacobs Daisy perfume and I honestly thought it was a dupe, but the more I was walking around the store, it started to dry down kind of sugary. But I wasn't sure if it was this perfume or the next perfume that I'm going to show you guys. Yeah, this was $14.99, girl, but I might have to go back and pick it up. I don't know. But the next perfume I also really liked, but those two perfumes combined smelled so good with my body chemistry. Like, I was at home like, dang, I smell kind of good, so I might go back and get those. I don't know. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm back home now. I'm going to show you guys officially what I got. So today was a mini come hygiene shopping with me video. I didn't want to get stuff that I really didn't need. I already had, I have two shower gels already, um, a body scrub, a whole new body scrub. I bought lotion the other day. Like a lot, I have toothpaste, new toothpaste, a new toothbrush. It's like I already have majority of the stuff that I needed. So today was just kind of like getting those last minute things that I didn't get and just stuff that I needed to re-up on. So the first spot that I went to was Cartier. I'm not gonna lie, um, I just put everything in this one bag because where I live, we have to pay for bags. And girl, who's paying for bags at all of these spots? Okay, so I bought one bag at Target and put everything in there. So we're gonna start with Target. Of course, y'all seen that I was trying my best to like 
find a new shampoo and conditioner because I tend to swap between, if I don't use the Dove Intensive Repair, then I usually use the Dove Daily Moisture. So last time I bought the Dove Daily Moisture and this time I decided to get the Dove Intensive Repair Shampoo Conditioner. I usually get the one that's in a pack like this that comes with the shampoo and conditioner. I'm a huge fan of Dove, so I love all of their products. Like I I pray one day Dove can sponsor me because I love Dove. But yeah, um, the one that I came close to buying was the Herbal Essence line, the tea tree oil shampoo and conditioner. I didn't realize till I got home that I actually already had the Herbal Essence tea tree oil conditioner. And I'm so mad because if I would have remembered that, I would have bought the Herbal Essence tea tree oil shampoo because I really want to try a clear shampoo. I don't think I've ever tried a clear shampoo. I've only ever had like a creamy based shampoo. So I really, 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 really want to try one. So I think I'm gonna go back tomorrow and get the Herbal Essence um, Tea Tree Oil Shampoo. So yeah, this is the first thing that I got. The second thing, um, my deodorant, I still have deodorant left. I use the Dove Even Tone deodorant. Like I told y'all, I love Dove. And if you watch my favorites video, I raved about that deodorant because that deodorant actually works. Like it actually evened out my um, armpits. I've been using that deodorant for about three months now, I think. But I was like, since my deodorant is almost running out, I heard a lot of talk about the native deodorant and I feel like I'm one of the last people to try this deodorant. I recently watched a hygiene video and this girl had the travel size. She had this one and she liked the deodorant so much that she went out and bought the full size. So honestly, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Even if I like this deodorant, I don't know if I can justify spending $12 on the deodorant. Let me know if you actually buy the native deodorant, like the full size. Let me know if like you really actually pay $12 for that deodorant. Like, I don't know if I could ever do it, but the smell, the smell is very light. I don't really feel like it smells like cucumber and mint. I mean, it kind of does, but I'm curious to see how this is gonna work for me. So I decided to go ahead and pick up the small little one. I think this was $2.99 and even that was kind of a lot for this little ass deodorant, like girl. So yeah, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try this, it's something new and I'm gonna let y'all know how I like it. But like I said, even if I like it, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to justify spending about $12, $13 for a deodorant, like. That's what I got from Target. Oh, and my mouthwash is in my bathroom. I'm not finna get up and get it, y'all. But y'all seen I got that big old Listerine and it came with the travel size um, Listerine. So I also got that. The next spot that I went to was Ross. Um, I did a lot of window shopping in Ross. There was a, so many things in there that I wanted to get. But again, I'm trying to teach myself to have discipline. And I was like, Janelle, you don't need all this stuff. Like you only need to get what's on your list, okay? So, the only thing that was really on my list was to get a new loafah because the one I got my shower girl, she is done, okay? She is done. Oh yeah, also I did not get the Tree Hut body wash because I already have two body washes and they're both still kind of full. And I just couldn't justify buying a whole nother body wash. Like I was like, girl, you already got two other ones that you have barely used. So once I finish with those, I will get the Tree Hut body wash. I got this one. This is the Beauty Balance Luxury Exfoliating Shower Puffs. Um, I thought these were so cute. And these were um, on clearance for the original price is $2.99. I mean $3.99, but they dropped it down to $2.99. I honestly don't know why, because y'all know sometimes when they be putting stuff on clearance, like stuff be wrong, but I didn't see nothing wrong with it, honestly. I'm thinking maybe it's just because it's the color and not a lot of people like this color. I don't know, but this is like a tan color. But this is what really drew me to this loafah. It's like this little squishy part right here. Like, I thought that was so freaking cute. Like, I really like that. It does look very luxurious. Like, I cannot wait to take a shower and use these. So, yeah, I was debating. I was like staring at the loafahs for a long time because I'm like, which one should I get? Now we're gonna move on to Marshalls. So from Marshalls, I actually got, I went to the clearance section and I found a face oil and I found a face serum. Now this face serum, let me tell y'all, this is my favorite, favorite, favorite face serum. I actually already own this face serum. It looks like this and I'm actually almost out of it. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm almost like, I'm halfway through. Um, anytime I see this brand, I can only find it in Marshalls and TJ Maxx. Anytime I see these, I grab them. Like I don't wait around because I feel like these are very hard to come by. This is called the Skin Method Rejuvenating Facial Serum. They also have a firming serum. 
So I usually switch between the two, whichever one I can find, I just get. So if you see this in TJ Maxx or um, Marshalls, pick this up because this is my favorite facial serum and they only sell it at those two stores. And you know how it is when you shop at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Like if you see something that you like, you have to pick it up right then and there. So I went to the clearance section and I seen this. The original price I think is, I think these are like $10.99, I think. I only paid $4.50 for this. It was on clearance. And this usually tends to be on clearance. I don't know why, because I really love this product. So when I seen it, I was like, oh girl, I gotta, I gotta pick that up because this is my face serum. So this one is the firming one. This one that I'm using right now is the rejuvenating one. I didn't even notice that. But either one, I like both of them. So this is the rejuvenating one that I'm using currently. And then this is the firming one. So I had to get a backup of that. So that's what I got from Marshalls. And I also found this marula oil. It's nourishing oil for smooth and even, even toned complexion. So this is what this one looks like. This one was also on clearance for $4.50. I have no idea why, but girl, I opened it and this is what it looks like. It still has the packaging and everything on there. So this is what the oil looks like. It is a face oil. I haven't been using a face oil for probably like a month or so because my other one ran out and I just never bought another one. So I'm gonna test this out and see how it works. I've never tried this before. It's from a company called Sky Organics. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to use this. It has no parabens, no sulfates, no silicones, um, no mineral oil, no dyes. So I was like debating on getting this or the other facial oil that I seen, but because this was on clearance and it was organic, I was like, let's try this. And plus it had good packaging. Nobody opened it or nothing, so yeah we're gonna test her out and see how she does okay 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 and the last thing that i got this is the last thing that i got period today was makeup wipes now i know the girlies are not using makeup wipes anymore it's only like a few of us out there please don't do not throw stones at me yes i still use makeup wipes i love makeup wipes and i hate saying that because i know like they don't really get a good rep, but I still use makeup wipes. I'm trying to transition into using like a cleansing oil or cleansing balm, but for now, I'm gonna use my makeup wipes. So, I know, I know, I know, you don't gotta tell me. So I've actually never tried to make these makeup wipes. Makeup wipes that I usually use are from Walmart. They're like the Equate brand and it's like the nighttime lavender scent and it comes with two and I think it's like 80 all together. But when I was in Marshalls, I was like, you know, why not? Let's just try some new makeup wipes. And these really caught my eye. So this one has 120 wipes all together. And inside it comes with the vitamin C and hyaluronic acid or hyaluronic. <laughs> that one brightens and moisturizes. The next one is the cucumber. This one's supposed to nourish and restore. Uh, the next one, they have the hydraulic. I don't know how to pronounce that. And collagen, this is supposed to hydrate and firm. And then the last one is the aloe vera. It's supposed to replenish and smooth. So I really like the colors and I liked how um, it had a variety of different like makeup wipes. And I feel like this will be a nice little switch up for me. So I'm gonna try the vitamin C ones first and see how I feel about it and just continue to go down. Um, and I'm gonna let y'all know if I like these makeup wipes. If I like them then, Hopefully I can keep finding them and using them. So boom. The last thing I wanna show y'all cause I've been talking a lot in this video is the lotion. You guys know I've been raving about the EOS lotion. I freaking love the EOS lotion, but the only thing I don't like is that I have to pay $10 for that lotion. And I feel like every three weeks I'm buying that lotion. Like I feel like every month or every three weeks I find that I'm like running out of the lotion and I have to keep buying it. And I don't really like that. So the last time I did not get the, e but the EOS lotion is so good that I'm willing to keep buying it. I am, but they need to like make the bottle bigger because I am sick of like buying. I feel like I, I feel like I'm always buying that lotion and it's really annoying, but it's really good though. So this last time around, I decided to switch it up. I never really use Nivea, but I was like, you know, I'm gonna use Nivea. I was in Walmart, I seen it. So this is the Nivea oil infused cherry blossom and jojoba oil. I also liked the shea butter one, I think that's what it's called, but this is the lotion that I'm using currently. I got this probably like a week ago and yeah, I really like this lotion. It smells really good. Um, it's very moisturizing. Do I like this better than the EOS? I don't know. I feel like the EOS has just such a, a rich, like amazing formula that I don't know. But you know, when I don't feel like paying for that price, 
this will do for me. So this is another um, fave of mine. I really do like this one. So this is the lotion I'm currently using. I got this last week. So yeah, girl, I blabbered enough in this video. That is all the goodies that I got today. Um, you guys let me know, have you guys tried any of these products? And let me know what I should try out in my next come shopping with me, hygiene shopping with me video. But yeah, that is the end of today's video. Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. It'll be down below in the description box with the direct links. Thank you all so freaking much for watching. And of course, as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.